Hi, welcome to Programming with Nash. In this session, we will get acquainted with tab navigation at the bottom and top and use the font icon like Font Awesome in them. In the previous session, we learned how to work with Stack Navigator and navigate between screens using it. We have already defined the screen components on the main page. Now I define them in separate files to make the home page more readable. To do this, I create two files called screen A and screen B, and inside them I copy the code for each screen. Here we use the same style twice. Later I will explain how to use global styles. Now I will export the functions so that we can use them on the main page. Now I will import both components here. I run the app to see if there is a problem with the code. Well, there is no problem and the screens are displayed correctly. We can also use the tab navigation to move between screens. To get started, install the bottom tabs from React Navigation. Now, instead of a stack, I create a tab using Create Bottom Tab Navigator. And I import it from the bottom tabs. Now we can use tab instead of a stack. I run the app to see the result. As you can see, the tab was created at the bottom of the page and contains two screens, and we can use it to move between screens. On the tabs, in addition to the label, we can also have an icon related to that page. To do this, we can use images or font icons. I suggest React Native vector icons for this. This module includes vector icons from famous sites. Many of them are available to you for free, and you can customize them in the app. First, we install it with this command. Now go to your desired platform, which is Android for us here. We do this with the Gradle. From the Android and App folder, find the bit.gradle file. Be aware that there is a file with the same name outside the App folder that we have nothing to do with. You need to copy this line to the file I mentioned to sync the Gradle with this module. Now go to the Android folder in the terminal and execute this command to sync the Gradle. Well, now we go back again and run the app. To use the icon in the tab, in the tab navigator, create a screen options. Inside it, we use a function that gives us the route of the screens in the tab. Now here we create the tab bar icon and set its value to a function that accepts three arguments, focus, size, and color. 
The first argument specifies whether the icon is in the selected state or not. And the other two arguments specify the color and size of the icon. Inside this function, I create a variable for the icon name and I want to show a different icon on the tab based on the screen name. Use the route argument to identify the screens and consider a different icon name for each screen. I want to use font awesome here. So I go to each side and select an icon related to the screens. For screen A, for example, I use this symbol. And for screen B, for example, I use the Bitcoin icon. Now I import font awesome version 5 from React Native vector icons. and return it at the end of the tab bar icon function. And set the icon name variable as its name. Icons should be shown. The problem is the name of the screens. As you can see, the icons at the top of the label were displayed in the tab. Their size is a bit small. By changing this argument, we can increase the size of the icons. I consider this size to be variable, so that it appears larger if the icon is selected. And I consider this size to be the same for both screens. Now I use this size in the icon. As you can see by selecting each tab, its icon size gets bigger. Now with the same method, we change the color of the icon in the selected mode. As you can see, we were able to change the color of the icons in the selected and unselected mode. In addition to this method, we can also change the color of the icons in the tab bar options prop. Using active tint color, we can specify the color of the icon and label of each tab that is active. Using inactive tint color, we specify the color of the icon and the label of the inactive tabs. We can also change the background colors of tabs using active background color and inactive background color. If you don't want the label to be displayed on the tabs, you can do so using show label. Using label style, you can give the style you want on the text. For example, I enlarge the size of the label here to make it look better. If we want to use a badge with the text on the tabs, we can do this in the tab screen using the tab bar badge option. For example, I entered the number 3 as a badge here. If you want to use it dynamically, you must use a variable or a state inside it. The buttons we created in the previous session still work, meaning we can also use the navigate function to switch between tabs programmatically. This was a simple way to create a tab using Tab Navigator. Now with Material Button Tab Navigator, we can have a more beautiful look using animation. To install it, we need to install two modules, Material Button Tabs and React Native Paper. It also needs the React Native Vector Icons module that we installed earlier. Now create the tab using create material button tab navigator and import it from material button tabs.
I run the app. As you can see, the way tabs are displayed has changed, and the properties we have already defined for tabs do not affect it. Other props are used to change its appearance. For example, these two props specify the color of the active and inactive icons and labels. And using bar style, for example, we can specify the background color of the bar. Now let's look at another type of tab that is displayed at the top of the screen. To do this, we use the Material Top Tab Navigator. To install it, we need to install two modules, Material Top Tabs and React Native Tab View. Now we create the tab using Create Material Top Tab Navigator and import it from Material Top Tabs. I run the app. As you can see, the tabs are displayed at the top of the screen, and it's possible to switch between them by sweeping the page. Its appearance follows the bar options we created earlier. We only need to use Show icon to display the icons, because by default it only displays the label. So there we go, we learned how to navigate between screens using Tab Navigator. So in the next video, we will talk about there are a navigator in React Navigation. Now if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next session.